There are dances that people have and they are doing them in churches, but these dances are demonic. They are inspired by demons. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Grace Daily Motivational today. We have a very powerful message that demands your attention. Our focus today rests upon the provocative words spoken by none other than Pastor Chris Oyakilome, the founding president of Believers Love World Incorporated. He recently addressed a critical issue plaguing churches today, the influence of circular music and worldly practices within our sacred walls. Pastor Chris issued a stark warning to pastors and leaders, urging vigilance against the infiltration of circular symbolisms and music in worship. He questioned the extent to which we should adopt worldly methods to appeal to younger generations or certain groups. He says, how worldly should we be to win the world? He asked, challenging the very foundation of modern church practices. His message was clear. Adopting secular music and dance in worship is not merely a benign trend. It's a spiritual hazard. Wow. These practices, he warned, are offerings to demonic forces, sustaining them with the kind of worship that should be reserved for God alone. In his compelling words, Pastor Chris likened demons to proud beings, craving attention, thriving on the worship they receive through these circular influences in the church. Now, enough said. Let's hear what he has to say, and we will be right back to share our thoughts. And here is where you've got to be very careful, pastors and, and, and leaders of God's people. One of the areas you must be very careful is in music, symbolisms, music. And I've warned, and you need to take this seriously. You know, there are people who tell us that uh, the reason they're into a certain kind of music is because that's what the, the young people are interested in, or those group of people are interested in. Hold on, how worldly should we get? to win the world. How worldly should we be to win the world? How far should we go to get their attention? We have to be like them to do so? That is a confession of your spiritual bankruptcy. Because if you were full of the spirit, think of, just think the very thought of it. If the apostle said, you see, we have to be like the Pharisees to win them. That's not what Paul was saying when he talked about being like a Jew. That's not what he meant. We reach people all the time. There are things we do to get their attention. But we don't have to now be like them. We don't have to have their music for them to listen to our music. We don't have to dance like them for them to think that we're dancing for God. The reason I'm telling you this is about symbolisms. There are dances that people have and they're doing them in churches, but these dances are demonic. They're inspired by demons and they're being danced in churches by so-called musical leaders and music whatever they call themselves. What's actually happening is these are offerings and libations that are, that are being offered to Satan through symbolisms. And demons thrive on these offerings. You have to understand. You have to understand. Demons feed on worship. Demons feed on worship. You sustain them with worship. You know, proud people love attention. Demons also are that way. They love attention. It's like a proud man whose ego you feed. That's the way they are. Get back to true and divine worship. Don't copy the world. Don't copy the world. Music is for worshiping and praising God. That's the primary thing it's supposed to do. Don't use it for your ego. Don't use it for your, for your so-called um, career. It's not given to you to make money for yourself. And I hope that in God's churches, don't give a place anymore. Don't give a place anymore to those who come as music stars because they come to destroy God's churches. They don't know what they're doing. It's been happening for a long, long time and it's time to stop. It's time to stop it. Pastors, train your people to worship the Lord in truth, to praise the Lord in truth. Stop giving offerings to demons. Look at our, our uh, uh, the, 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 the music, music, those who they used to call them music ministers. They dress like the world. They act like the world. They dance like the world. Is that what you want them to teach your people? We allowed it for a long time. We allowed it for a long time until the Lord instructed me not only to stop it, but to let God's people know it's got to stop and it has to stop. There's no place in the word of God for those things. We must have God's churches return to true praise and true divine worship. What it is supposed to be in the word of God. 
Let no man deceive you with carnal words. They've done these things for more than 50 years. And the results have been the same. Carnality in the churches. And these people don't listen to the word of God. Once they are done with singing in your church, they jump to the next church. And when I say things like this, the next thing is, if they don't like it, they go and start a church. Because they, they are not used to sitting to listen to the word of God. These are not soul winners. Because it's all about money at the end of the day. Money and fame. That's what they seek. Money and fame. And so they have used the houses of God for these things for so long. It has to stop. And for those who don't want to stop, God will stop you. Just watch. Just watch. Just watch. And God sent me to tell you these things. You cannot use the ministry of God for financial gain or to groom your ego. It has to stop. So that's what demons, demons love those things. They love it. They love it. They don't mind you singing. They don't mind you acting like you're praising God. But they know that the things you are doing are not scriptural. They know you have no fear of God. They know that must change in God's house. It's time to change it. You no, know, every now and then what they do, they come up with their album. I have my album, your album. What is this album? What is there? That's your carnality in your pocket. It has to stop. I told you, I, I've got to tell you these things and share them with you. And I'm not even majoring on it now. This is just on the side. And I've shared on several occasions. And there's much more to share with you along this line. So that you can have sufficient information to deal with these things. And don't let Satan push you again and again. So Pastor Chris, if I don't do this, so what am I supposed to do? What do you mean, what, you, what are you supposed to do? The first thing is, follow his instruction. That's the first thing. And stop creating fake visions for yourself. Stop creating. The Bible talks about those who create their own visions. Visions that God didn't show them. The visions of their mind. They have visions of their mind. Which they call God's visions. Someone who doesn't listen to the word of God. Someone who has no spiritual discipline. Who doesn't study the Bible. So, the Lord told me. He didn't tell you anything. He didn't tell you anything. Look at your life. So you're going to pray. You're going to pray. Pray. During COVID, where were all the musicians? No, they disappeared. No, where were they? All over the world. They were, not, they, they were either, they, they fled. Their ministry ended. Yes, sir. Except that God sent me to rescue you. Hallelujah. But not so you can go back to where you were before. No, where were they singing? It was over. No, the, their ministry was over. The churches were shut down. They are... They are, they are, they are uh, Concerts were gone. Did they know what to say? Where was the word of God in your mouth? So the same God that sent me then is the one that sent me, sending me now to still bring you this information. And what you're doing is not going to help. It won't help you. There's a direction from the Spirit. And we should go in that direction. Welcome back, my beloved viewers. As we reflect on Pastor Chris Oyakilome's profound words, let's ponder deeply. Are we as a church losing our spiritual essence in the pursuit of worldly appeal? Have we allow the sacred space of worship to be tainted by practices that do not honor God. Let's turn to the scriptures for guidance and let's see what the scriptures have to say. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12 verse 2, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This verse calls us to a higher standard to resist the allure of worldly practices and instead seek renewal through God's word. Now, I ask you, my dear viewers, what are your thoughts on this matter? How can we ensure that our worship remains pure, focused on God alone? Share your reflections, comments, and insights. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking discussions. As we conclude, let's remember Pastor Chris's call to action. It's time for a change. It's time to return to the heart of worship, untainted by worldly influences. Let's commit to this journey together, seeking God's guidance and wisdom. Until we meet in our next video, I remain Grace Daily Motivational, where the supernatural has become the normal. Stay blessed and keep the faith alive. God bless you.